What is going on everybody? We are finally here after a super, super long drive through tons of different country and we're finally here in the Red Rocks of the Lake Powell. We are super excited guys. We're gonna be chasing stripers. We're gonna be chasing walleye, smallies, all this kind of stuff. And as you guys can see, it's a massive lake and it's beautiful, beautiful canyons and cliffs that we're gonna be fishing. It is super low though. The water level is like 30 feet low. It is insane. What you're seeing behind me, these beaches back here, we were fishing on top of those last time. So we're gonna have to adjust to that a little bit, but that does not mean that we still cannot have fun and get to this guy. So let's get right to this. My dad's coming down the ramp. We gotta go pick him up now here on the boat. So let's go. Okay guys, we picked up Captain Pops from the boat, rocking his hat that's more than stylish. Boat is freaking loaded in gear, so we're gonna be out here for about two days. And yeah, now it's just time to go find the fish and start catching. We are loaded heavy and ready to go. Dude. Heck yeah, what are we doing first? Let's go look at the stripers. Stripe bass first. Doing, man. Let's go see if we can catch them. Let's go. Guys, it is beautiful out here right now, but we have to go a little bit slower and get into the spots because we have to watch for rocks. I mean, this lake is so low that there's rocks that used to be completely submerged and we drive over perfectly fine that are now above water. And so we got to keep watching for rocks. I'm up here at the bow now, uh, making sure that, you know, if I see any rocks that are coming up, you know, any of that sort of turquoise colored water that I can tell pops back at the engine, and make sure that we avoid it a little bit. So we're gonna get to the spots a little, little bit slower this time. Get into the spots a little bit slower, but that doesn't mean we're not getting into the spots. So. Okay, y'all, here we go. Stripers, oops. Starting off with the stripers, fishing the cut bait bite. So far, it's been pretty dang slow. So we've seen a couple people catch them, a little, like, I think we've seen like four caught, but we have not gotten any bites yet. Throwing these cut bait, these cut bait rigs. But if we do not end up getting any bites here and it still continues to go slow, we'll go target smallies and walleye fishing these rock shells actually like what are right in front of us <laughs> with single tail grubs. So we shall see how it goes. But for now, we're gonna give it a little bit longer until we just give up on these stripers. There we go guys, first striper of the day. That thing's freaking long. <laughs> That guy was a super, super skinny fish, people. Super skinny fish. But our patience is paying off, right, Dad? We've not cut stripers on cut bait in a couple of years. And I'm surprised I felt that bite, considering that this line is really, really bad. It's, it's so freaking twisted, dude, it's not even funny. I'm just trying to find a way to keep my line as tight as possible. So I can feel that, that was a very, very definite dunk, dunk, dunk. I was like, oh, is that fish, eh? But I couldn't get as excited as I'd like to because there's boats around. Just kind of to be like, yeah, let's go. Sort of a silent victory, sort of ordeal, I'm guessing. Let's get exactly where we want this time, which is like, right. Got him, Pops is on. Bring him in, Pops. You feel the bite on that one too, or? Don't always have one single thunk. I had a donk, 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 buddy. That's got two back to back. Jeez. Now I look like the amateur. I was once the champion. There he is. Ooh, that was a nice run. Heck yeah, boys. Stripers. Oh, I'm going to go over here to the chain. Are you You're going to do the same thing for me? Got him? Heck yeah, boys. Dude, these are nice stripers. Are they this big when we used to be catching? Ow, oh, he bit me. Last year, yeah, last year they still small. Ow, he's biting me, guys. Woo hoo hoo. being weird, guys. He's not responding to my commands. Then again, I'm not really that good at the voice control thing anyway. But still, me and Dad both just got hit like right here, right off the buoy, like barely right there. And it was a big, big hit, really aggressive. Just kind of took it and went straight down, and then it came off like within a matter of seconds. So, oh, ah, oh, dang it, that was a missed one. You got him? What's going on here? Something's going on. I'm calling foul play. I'm throwing a bigger chunk now, so y'all know what that means. We're about to catch a Mondo. Freaking eight pounder right here, man. On this very cast, I'm calling it. The bite's picking back up. Oh, got him. Okay, so it was almost on five count, guys. A little bit afterwards, that's okay. We'll take it, we'll take it. I see him down there. I see him doing a head shake. 
Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm not trying to. Can I get some help with them, Pops? Actually, you know what? I got it. <sighs> so, so far, guys, the analysis is they are not fat stripers, but they are freaking long ones. <sighs> but it's a blast to catch these things. They're so pretty. They have like kind of that like purple undertone. If you guys can see that. But, and then they got those big eyes because they're obviously sight predators and they're freaking just beautiful fish. Super long, not super fat. We typically throw the heads out for chum guys uh, on these anchovies that we're cutting up because the heads, just, they don't really stick that well to the hooks. They kind of fall apart really easily. And like I said, you want to hide your hook really, really well here. So we use the head. Oh, ah, there we are. Got him. Ah, nice. Here we go, guys. Oh, he's, he's pulling. It's official, y'all. We are deep into striper territory. Whoa, whoa, this guy's got a little bit better of a shoulders on him. Uh, get this guy back. Whoa, whoa. Wait, are those people doing water guns at the back of the boat? They are. Oh, the flip. At least it's at the back, not out of the front. So I'm not opposed to that. So you guys see me keep reeling on my line a little bit. I'm just trying to keep my line as tight as possible so I can feel the bites when they come. Oh, there he is. Got him. Oh, that's a nice, that felt nicer. He, oh, he's still on, okay, we're good. He's, we're still on, guys. Okay, we're good. Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, dad. This one's pulling drag, man. Uh, uh, dad, I might need help with this one. Dad, dad, <laughs> can I get some help with this one? Dude, freak yeah. <laughs> that. Is a nice striped bass. Oh, guys, look at that beast. <laughs> Catching stripers on a medium action rod is fun. Put it on the list, guys. It's the simplest cut bait setup ever. Your hands do get dirty. It's a fair warning about that. But it's worth it because these fish are beautiful. Oh. oh, oh shoot, that one almost took the thing out of my hand. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, bump him. He's bumpable. Look at that, guys. Perfect. Top of the... Ooh, top of the lip. Huh? Yeah, I know. Got him, guys. So I'm basically, there's, as you guys can see here in the contour of the actual cliff, there's a big slant going down and I'm fishing like a deeper section of that slant. So I'm kind of casting out directly this way from the boat. And that seems to be where they're hanging off of is right there at the very, very end of that slant where it starts going into deeper water. Got him. That was when I was trying to reel in a little bit more. And so also I just saw, I was trying to reel in, you know, like move my spool. And I saw, um, I saw all of a sudden my like my spool was like heavy like to like even just pull in you know it's like bigger bigger bass teeth and it hurts like crap but so far it's not really broken off a lot I think what's happening I think is when I'm trying to get the hook out I think I'm accidentally pinching the line when it's deep down in the throat I think that's kind of kinking me up and making it easier for me to break off so that's my inclusion y'all that's my theory so we're gonna try to avoid that now it's a user error Dude, my thumbs hurt. <laughs> oh. Yay, that bottom right there is torn to pieces. That is okay. It's a sign of respect among fishermen. Oh, oh yes. Good thing I gave it like two more seconds longer. Come on. Ooh, he feels nicer, a little bit heavier. I say that it's gonna end up being a small little one that we are chasing on these trips. Frick yeah, guys. Got another one, guys. Oh, pulling, he's pulling, he's pulling. Got another. So here's the spiel, guys. I've been catching so many stripers, I wanted to change it up real quick. So now I'm gonna try to catch one on a ultralight. Uh. <laughs> Let's see how this thing goes. This is what we catch uh, our yellow bass and our crappie and stuff on. So 
Let, let's see how it does against a striper, eh? I'm, I'm kind of excited. I mean, this is like a little fear fit. Oh, oh, here's our chance to try out. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> Come on. Come in, buddy. Oh, big head shake. Big head shake. <laughs> My rod's like bent in half. There it is. Uh, the real question is, is, can I bump them now? That's not even a bad one either. That's a good one. <laughs> oh, the pole broke. Dune. Well, guys, uh, I broke my rod. Um, but we did catch a really nice striper off it. So uh, the ultra light just broke. <laughs> uh, I gotta get a new one now. Well, everybody, it's starting to get dark out, so we went and found a beach. set up dinner. We got a beautiful, beautiful view behind me. Uh, here, let me see if I can get there just a little bit better. Uh, let's go up the hill real quick. But so we're gonna go set up dinner right now. There's still a little bit of light left. So if we have more time, you can see that view. If we have more time, we will go back out and walleye. We will just hit the hay. <laughs> oh, it's windy. We'll just hit the hay and enjoy this beautiful sunset on these beautiful, beautiful cliffs. So, let's go eat dinner and keep happy fishing, y'all. Dinner is gonna be chicken teriyaki. But, correction, it was gonna it be chicken was teriyaki. Gonna be chicken teriyaki because we brought the little stove and we're gonna heat it up. We're gonna finally have a hot meal, but we forgot it freaking cigarette lighter or matches or something for the stove. <laughs> Start the stove. So, so instead, what? we got our peanut butter and jelly tortillas again. Goobers. Goobers. And Dad's also trying to feed me one of these freaking chia squeezes that sounds like a... There, get that it's in the a, light. Get that in the light. Get that atrocity. Chia squeeze. It's a... Uh, it's raspberry Orbeez. Yeah. Or raspberry flavored snot. <laughs> but it's actually good for it you. It tastes good. It just has a really weird texture. This is really weird. <laughs> Dad's sitting there and he goes, this thing tastes so good. I just wanted to see if you'd eat it. <laughs> so we went back to every other thing we eat on our freaking campouts. Which is that and meat sticks. Goobers and meat sticks and jerk. Dukes. And then old trapper somewhere old, around here. Old trapper jerky. But guys, um, so we caught tons, tons of stripers today, which was a blast. And tomorrow in the morning is going to be smallmouth and walleye and then probably back to stripers. So see y'all in the morning.